In this video, we are going to dive deeper into the title field in metadata, which is a crucial field from a routing perspective. The title field's primary purpose is to define the document title. It can be either a string or an object. Let's understand both types with an example. The most straightforward way to set the title attribute is by using a string value. It is what we have in layout.tsx and page.tsx files. We can define the title field about code evolution, which renders the title tag with the same string value in the browser. For more flexibility, we can define the title field using an object. In the root layout, import and use metadata type for better IntelliSense. So import metadata from next. Metadata is of type metadata. And now we can specify title as an object. The object supports three keys, absolute, default, and template. The title dot default property is useful when you want to provide a fallback title for child route segments that don't explicitly specify a title. For example, we can specify the default title as Next.js tutorial hyphen code evolution. And if a child route segment such as blog slash page.tsx doesn't have a title defined, it will fall back to the default title. So navigating to localhost 3000 slash blog will contain the title Next.js tutorial hyphen code evolution. That is the default title set in layout.tsx. Second, we have the template key. To create dynamic titles by adding a prefix or a suffix, you can use title.template property. This property applies to child route segments and not the segment in which it is defined. We can specify the template key as percentage %s and then code evolution. Blog route, we can import the metadata type from next and define or export metadata object of type metadata where we set title to blog. If we head back to the browser, you can see the title is blog, the pipe character, and code evolution. The blog page title, which is blog, replaces percentage %s in the layout template title. We have code evolution as a suffix. Finally, we have absolute title. If you want to provide a title that completely ignores title.template set in the parent segments, you can use title.absolute property. We don't really need an absolute property in the layout, so instead in the blog page, let's convert title to an object where we specify the absolute key and set it to blog. If we head back to the browser, the output will be just blog as you can see. The template has been ignored. So this is pretty much what I wanted to cover about routing and SEO metadata in Next.js. Starting next video, we will explore all the details about linking and navigating with the app router. Thank you for watching and please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.